Welcome to DJI. This is the DJI Pilot Apps home screen. Tap the camera icon to see what your Inspire One camera sees and access a wide range of controls. Tap the bar in the top center of the screen to check on the aircraft state. Here you can see your overall status as well as calibrate your compass and check on your flight mode, RC mode, aircraft battery, aircraft battery temperature, remote controller battery, remaining SD card capacity, and finally exit travel mode. Tap the mode icon at the top to access the main controller settings. Calibrate compass, reset all settings, unlock motor, enter slash exit travel mode, enable multiple flight mode, Enable and reset IOC. Below this, advanced settings, where you can adjust gain, configure fail-safe mode, and monitor your sensors. Once in gain mode, you can adjust your basic and advanced gain settings. Under basic, you can adjust pitch, roll, yaw, under advanced gain, attitude gain, gyro gain, vertical gain. Next, you can configure your fail-safe mode. Here, you can adjust your return to home altitude to a range between 20 to 500 meters. Lastly, we have sensors. Here, you can monitor your gyroscope, accelerometer, your compass, and check your IMU and calibrate in a basic mode or an advanced mode. Tap the remote controller icon at the top to access the RC settings. You can adjust RC control settings and adjust your master and slave settings. These settings include off, master, and slave. With master toggled, you can adjust your RC status, your RC name, connection password, and select different registered slave controllers. When in slave mode, the settings change enabling you to adjust the RC name, request control, and search for the master controller. In RC control settings, you can adjust your gimbal wheel speed, stick expo curve, remote control calibration, stick mode, as well as customize your C1 and C2 buttons from a variety of selections, including advanced camera settings, reset gimbal yaw, gimbal free slash follow, toggle map slash live view, clear flight route and battery info. Below all of this, you have the linking remote controller. Gimbal wheel speed, you can adjust from zero to 100. In stick expo curve, you can adjust both the throttle expo curve and the yaw expo curve. Tap the video transmission icon to access the image transmission settings. The Inspire One is able to show you the available 32 channels and their status. Green represents a stable channel, red an unstable channel, and blue your current channel. Beneath this, you can select which channel you would like to broadcast from. Just above the graphic visualizer is the auto and custom selector. By switching to Auto, the Inspire One will choose the best available option. Once you have selected the channel, you can then choose the image transmission quality, ranging from 2 to 10 megabits per second. Below this is Dual Output, Display OSD on HDMI Output, and Use Metric on HDMI Output. Tap the battery icon to access your aircraft battery information and settings. Inside we have critical battery warning, low battery warning, flight time, voltage, remaining power, total capacity, temperature, battery life, times charged, and finally your serial number, product date, and history. In the bottom left corner you can see the orientation of your Inspire One and its live flight stats. The orientation is shown with a red and green icon. The red icon represents the aircraft and the green icon represents your camera. To the right are your flight stats, which display height and distance, vertical and horizontal speed, and the altitude of your aircraft. 
Tap the gear icon to access your general settings. Here, you can change the pilot app's unit of measurement to imperial or metric, overexposure warning, video caption, show grid, anti-flicker, quick review, NTSC versus PAL, reset the camera settings, format the SD card, adjust gimbal roll, adjust the gimbal auto calibration, show flight route, calibrate map coordinates, cache map in the background, tutorials, rate, about. In adjust gimbal roll, you can manually adjust the horizon or alternatively auto calibrate it. In the About section, you can find all the general info about your product, including installed firmware and contact information for DJI. On the right side, we have the Function menu, Video Record slash Photo Capture, Playback Mode, and Camera Settings. In the Function menu, you have the ability to adjust your Image Format, Video Format, White Balance, Video Size, Style, and Color, In playback mode, you can watch any clips you have recorded. Delete clips, download clips, upload clips to your DJI account. Search for clips in a gallery view, and finally, have the ability to zoom in and out on a photo. In camera settings, you can adjust the ISO and shutter speed. You can also toggle the camera settings to auto, which allows you to change the exposure value. On the left, we have four icons. The first is auto takeoff mode. The second is gimbal mode. Within this is follow mode. FPV mode, free mode, and the last icon which when pressed returns the gimbal to its center position. The third icon is the auto land mode. The fourth icon will choose your home point. The first icon will set your home point to where your aircraft is positioned and the second to where your remote control is positioned. In the bottom right corner is your map. Tap on the map to enlarge it and enter map mode. In map mode, you will see a full screen map of your location. Clicking on the second icon to the left allows you to draw an autonomous route. To start the route, click the auto takeoff icon. To go home and land, click on the third icon. To clear the program route, click clear guides. The last icon allows you to orient your map to your home point or your aircraft point. On the top left near the home icon, you have your GPS signal strength. If all the bars are white, it is safe to fly. Red or empty indicates an insufficient GPS signal and it is not recommended to proceed with the flight. Move your Inspire 1 away from buildings or other large metal surfaces to obtain a stronger GPS signal. Tapping the Academy icon will allow you to access a flight simulator, the Inspire One manual, and tutorial videos. Clicking on the flight simulator will toggle a warning stating that it is safest to remove the propellers from the motors before starting. Simulator mode functions exactly like the camera mode and even functions offline, allowing you to get practice whenever you would like. When exiting simulator mode, you will receive a warning that the aircraft will return to normal function and to keep your distance when starting the motors. The last icon is the user center. Here you can access the DJI store, assistant, user center, community, and sky pixel. You can also log in to your DJI account with your email and password. If you do not have an account, you can sign up or reset your password with forgot password. Thank you for choosing DJI. We hope you enjoy your creative experience with the Inspire One. Fly safe, and we hope to see you in the future. The future of possible.